Hi, today I want to show you how to win a drone game. This is a game that the opening is uh, tennis and gambit, and I can I cannot uh, be happy with the opening because it's catastrophe. This is tennis and gambit, somehow anti-Scandinavian. Suppose someone plays anti-Scandinavian. It's strange, right? <laughs> Okay, and so for so good, black has advantage actually is up a pawn and development somehow because white cannot easily develop pieces because of the pawn on e4 except that white accept to give up some advantage and or uh, give some tempo like taking the pawn. So. Black continues development right now. Black is really better, is uh, well developed. And after this move, black is even better because why should give up a pitch up for a night? Cannot do anything. You can think on it about it yourself because what can white do? If move the bishop backward, then black checks the king at d3, and that's very bad. Moving the king is very bad before the castle so what has to defend and then takes takes uh, a couple of captures and then we enter to this how uh, somehow middle game opening was catastrophe for white but this middle game is not that bad it's okay and black continues development and white also develops but there is no need to castle, we stay in the middle with the king and it's better to be stay in the middle. At this position I think white is even slightly better than black because black has no idea what it's doing and, but white knows what they are doing. Also white king is in the center and to completely safe and close to the center, this is important. Black's king is far from center, not that far but a little bit far. So. Void continues uh, bringing the pieces into center. Of course, there's one open line and you put all the rooks in that open line. This is natural, right? And uh, White doesn't want to give up the knight for a bishop because if um, black was capturing that knight with a black escort bishop, then we had a opposite co uh, colored bishop scenario and there was no way uh, to win this game, it was very difficult, symmetrical game, opposite color bishops, it was very difficult, we had to rely on the luck. And at this position, White also tries to improve the peace positions. Uh, black kicks, uh, White kicks um, the black um, bishop away. And these are some maneuver, at the end White suggests to exchange the bishops, because if uh, we exchange the bishops. Uh, wait, uh, I, I did that. Because if we exchange the bishops, the point is that white, black's white squared bishop doesn't have any target. All pawns are in black square. And what bishop wants to do, wants to attack the pawns. It cannot attack anything. So if we exchange the bishops, white's knight is very strong. For that reason, Black didn't like the idea of exchanging bishops, so moves the bishop away. Says that I want to keep my bishop in the game. Black says, okay, even if you keep your bishop in the game, your black escort bishop in the game, and even if we exchange my knight with your white escort bishop, it's still fine. Why? Because again, even though this time black doesn't have any target with bishop, but bishop can penetrate into black's camp because no pawn can stop it. Whereas black cannot penetrate into white's camp with the bishop. And we will see how this helps. White willingly gives up the knight for a bishop. And seems everything is completely symmetric, right? There is no way it's one of the players win the game. Except, well we all make mistakes uh, white wants to double the rooks double the rooks but 
at this position if I exchange both rooks the one who is better is actually black because black's um, pawns are in the white square and um, white cannot attack the um, pawns and with the bishop and yeah it's, uh, it would only black can play for it so white definitely doesn't want to exchange the rooks and for that reason white plays bishop d6 this is the critical move this is a critical moment at this moment black had to think what to do you may wondering why black didn't take white's rook because if it takes white willingly takes with the f pawn and, and the idea of white is to open the center and the idea of black was to prevent opening the center but it's very difficult for black if uh, black captures the rook is very difficult to stop white from opening the center opening the center is good for white because the king is nearby to center so this is the critical moment of the game bishop is there and black attacks the bishop but that move this is the critical move but the uh, game is not ended yet this is a critical move that after this check first white um, black captures and white recapture and yeah, white goes, um, black goes up and white wants to grab the pawn. At first, I didn't have idea how to capture the pawn without losing the bishop. Can you find it? And I did a mistake. I moved the bishop backward. Okay, it wasn't a big mistake. I could just simply repeat it and I repeat the position. Black repeat the position. No, I find the solution how to win that pawn. Can you find it? Can you find this little tactic? Yes, of course. Uh, I, I suppose you pause the video and find the, find the solution. And here is the solution. Bishop goes this direction, actually. No, black cannot defend the back rank. From back rank. So it should give up the pawn. Moves the bishop away for whatever reason. I didn't understand exactly. I take the pawn. And, but this is not the end of a story. This is not the end of a story because, okay, we won the pawn, but we cannot push any pawn. Now we can push a little bit, but we don't get anything from pushing a little bit. What is the plan? The plan actually, because Black's bishop is very strong, defends the pawns, and we should design a plan. It's not possible to uh, live with this bishop. If at this position I try to exchange my bishop with black's black squared bishop, notice that before I go to details of uh, how to exchange the bishop, uh, notice that if we exchange the bishops, if we exchange the bishops, then white has a very bad, uh, black has a very bad king, and we are up a pawn. So we should have an easy job, even though it's uh, rook versus rook, and usually one pawn up is not necessary win. But in this position, that black kings is very far from the pawns and cannot defend them, rook can slowly but surely grab the rest of the pawns and at make at least two pawn advantage to make sure that uh, white can be. So the plan is to exchange the bishops right now, if. I place the bishop at c7 right now to say that okay hello let's exchange black simply plays rook d7 and we have nothing against rook d7 because of the bishop is trapped if we move the bishop away takes over rook if we don't move it takes over bishop so first I had to bring the rook in a safe place that uh, black's rook cannot pin it and black knows that what we want to do, we want to exchange, right? Black knows that we want to exchange, but he doesn't let us. And we have here the good uh, thing is, is this one. We, it's somehow zigzag. Zig -zong. We can push pawns and wait and later even push further to attack the bishop with pawns. If, white, if black does nothing, we can attack the bishop with pawns later. But I didn't overextend right now. I said, okay, let's see what black is doing. If uh, black doesn't move the rook away, 
then I may overextend and push the pawns forward to attack and to use them as an attacker. But um, black gives up and moves the rook away and we immediately exchange the bishops and stop black from capturing our pawns and black tried to save the game but this game ended not very quickly but steadily we improve our position and we finally managed to win more pawns and at the very end queening one of our pawns like this and black resigned at this position also black didn't have time yeah because uh, they queened we can capture the queen we can say check and then capture the queen we can do anything yeah here is it this was a cool game that I won a drone game, not winning by time or something like this. Planning some strategy and designing strategical maneuvers to attack Black's King and the pawns at the same time. And then it wasn't the end of a day, it was the next step was to eliminate the bishop. That was very nice a strategical game, not tactical games. My games are usually tactical. But this was very nice strategical game. And you may notice that my rating dropped quite a lot. Yeah, I played a lot of game when I wasn't in on form. So I lost a lot of points. Around 150 points in one night. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.